Welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. In this part, what I want to do is lay out the signals and get my first train running. But before that, I'm going to start this video with a section which I'm going to call from now on things that are going wrong. And there's a couple of things that are going wrong. I'm going to start with something up here. And this is my coal plant. And at the moment, I just can't seem to get the coal supply up and running and stable. It fluctuates and what I've had to do is resort to microing this to I think what I can do is I'm just gonna turn that off again so that this will build up again and what I'm having to do is let this build up and then let this run down supplying the brickworks here the moment the brickworks has got no I really need to work on this area I can't seem to what get the keep the population stable now the next problem is over here and it's quite a big problem is that I think this is one of the problems when you let the game run at high speed and you don't pay attention because I was keeping an eye on the food factory and we were getting quite a lot of food coming through here as you can see at the moment the workers is down I've got a feeling when you start the game the workers are all in their homes and then they've got to come back in here but the problem here is that my food supply is piled up to the point where I've got crops here that are being har harvest and the trucks couldn't you can see here the trucks are queuing up here to unload because my silo filled up and what I've actually got now if I show you here I show you related vehicles I've now got four trucks working full time to keep the food moving and what I've done is is the trucks that are coming out to the fabric factory here as now I've, what I've done is set one of them to come up here and just sit here and unload and drop it off as this is consumed so I've got three trucks sending stuff up to here and one truck keeping this place busy so in theory at the moment the fabric factory should not you consume any food and I mean cash wise I'm, I'm doing okay last month I made a little bit of cash but I really need to work on the culture. So I need to get a cinema up there. And what I would also like, actually I'm gonna do it while I'm thinking about it, is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna put a cinema down here. See if we can get it in as close as possible to here. Um, Yeah, we're not spending any money. I'm just going to connect it up with a gravel road, which is another problem I've got. Now, the other thing I'd like to thank Jan Albert, who passed a comment and pointed out quite rightly that I'd sent some dumper trucks up here to collect coal, but this is coal ore. So my dumper trucks are quite happily sat up here doing nothing and what the dumper trucks do now is they come over to this over here to collect coal for my concrete plant which is over here. And you can see at the moment the concrete plant is okay, it's full up. Now the other problem I've got is aggregate, like the gravel up here. You can see here my trucks aren't really keeping this busy. I'm consuming so much ag gravel down here with my various construction problem projects that life is getting a little bit difficult I mean at the moment I've got a roller this, oh, this road's just finished that's good perfect timing and what I want to do is get the next road and I want to get a little connection there because I like would like to get the uh, the oil refinery up and running now my little construction train that's been running through here has been doing very well and he's doing okay and we, we're building up a little bit of money you can see because what I've done is I sold off one of them so I've only got the one now because we don't really need it so that's all the things that have gone wrong guys and what I need to keep an eye on I mean there are a few other issues which I do need to work on I don't know let me just check this yeah Who's actually working on this? No one. Okay. You. What does it say? Road connection doesn't exist. Okay. 
there's a block of flats here that I, I need to build just to try and get this area stable as well. Anyway, guys, that's the problems. Let's get on to the real focus of this video, which is laying out the traffic signals. Now, I've got a confession, guys. My first playthrough, which I did off camera, was a complete disaster with respect to signals. And what I would suggest is that there's a guy called Sentinel MC who did a very good tutorial on two-way track and one-way track signals. And there will be a link in the video description for any of you guys who want a good explanation on how to lay out signals. And when I'm laying out the signals, this is his advice that I'm going to be taking. And what we're going to do is just come in here. You can see that the signals are you get single semaphore and chain the semaphores. And what I need to do is put in uh, two. I'll place the semaphore there. Oh, come on. I suppose I'm right on the edge of the map here. Right, so we've got about a two way. Yeah, so we've got two two way chain signals here. Now, the principle with chain signals is you always have a chain signal before a section like this with a junction in it. So we're going to put another one there. But the difference with this chain signal is we're going to have a, this as a single entry point because this is the left hand side is going to be my up track and the right hand side is going to be my down track. And what we're going to do is just put in. Oh, and we're going to just put that there and. Come on. Um, you're going to have a chain signal that way. So what happened is the train coming down here will stop here if there's, these are occupied. But if one of these slots is, is open, they'll be able to go. Then this signal will make sure that the train will go up this way. And then we're going to fly through here. Oops, thank you again. And then what we're going to do is put a one-way chain signal there. And we're going to have a chain signal here and so we'll have another one here so you're going to come in there so that's moving into that junction there and that's going to go into that one there and you're going to go into that one there and you're coming up to here so you need a chain signal there And actually need a, another one just here. Oops. And then what we're going to have is a, a normally semaphore here. Going that way. And a semaphore here. Going that way. And we'll have one going out that way. And then... You're going to come that way. Hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> Famous last words. And that needs to be chain signal. <sighs> Trains come up the wrong side of the track. Okay. He's stuck. Right. Okay, what we're going to have to do is that's because the let's get rid of that signal that signal and what you should be able to do now is get this uh, this guy get up to, into the right place oh. hey come on move 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 Yeah, what happened is he came back on this wrong track here. But we should be able to fix that. Just let him get into the past this junction here. And then oh. So you're up, you're coming down this way. Get a chain signal there. And you're going to go out that way. 
and then you're going to go that way. And the idea is of these sections is a train coming up here can come and stop in that section there. Uh, oops, oh. and then we can put a chain signal like that and you're going to come up that way we'll just leave this open-ended for this train to operate on and then we're going to put a chain signal going that way and uh single signal yeah going that way and then on is you going that way and in theory there should only ever be one train coming up here so we just need normal signals like that that should be it guys so we've now got this set up i'm not going to worry about this branch line because i put this branch line in but i've got no real plans to run a train up here because what i want to do is run a train from the customs post at this terminal here we better get a train built i suppose so i'm gonna buy a train what we got here 100 kilometers um, diesel locomotives what we got here we're gonna to have to go cheap because i don't have a lot of money that's 95 that's 100 so you're 100 kilometers okay I mean, you're a lot of money, so 73 tons. I'm inclined to go with this one. And then what we're going to get is what we got here, tankers. I'm not going to export any coal or asphalt. What we got here, maximum speed, 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers, so what's the point of buying a fast train if you can't actually... That's a 24 ton boxcar. That's a 23 ton. That's an 18 ton. That carries 75 tons of steel. Because the question is, that doesn't, that carries food and items. I think we're going to go for flat cars, guys. So I'm going to get three of those. And what we're going to do is pick up from here and go all the way down to here and I'm just going to get you set up and well, I suppose you want to pick up steel or logs and you wait until loaded we've now got our first train out of the blocks we've got a nice lot of stuff built up here so I've been trying to keep this up and running and we've got 218 left I think we're just gonna build that guys uh, and we can give you that there I'm just gonna let the money build up I just want to go and check see whether I'm driving down this food situation So we're getting 11 tons of food here. That's building up quite nicely. And hopefully we will be starting to clear these fields. So you've got this combine harvester picking up the food, but of course what's happened is that the, this one's already growing. It's got food in here already. So I'm actually wasting food here at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate, but as I say, this is the problem you get when you don't pay attention to some detail in the game. Right, so this is picking up quite nicely. I think I'm going to have to go for it, guys, up here. I, because the culture here is really dragging down the population. And that's giving me problems with both the mine and the quarry. Because you can see this population is dropping. Uh, I think I'm going to have to invest the money here. I'd love to see if I can get in a cinema. Uh, 
until I get that. Captain. I level this. Uh, let's bring this out. And try and level this off a bit. If we can get a cinema tucked in here, it would make a pretty big difference. One thing I will say, guys, this game doesn't have a steep learning curve with respect to mechanics, but I will say it has an absolutely evil learning curve with the the fine balances and the micromanagement. So it's, this is a game that's very easily underestimated, and especially considering it's an early access game. And I, I think it's very easy to say, "Ah, oh, yeah, this is this game's easy; it's no problem." And suddenly you get a curveball that comes out of nowhere, like the crops there. It was something you've never hadn't even realised. And then you've got problems. So let's just see if we can get that in there. Hopefully, I'll be able to slide a road through there. Yeah. So let's just let, oh, put it down anyway. So. Alright, guys, we're just gonna have to disrupt you a little bit there. Ooh, have to get a gravel road through there. I'm going to fund that with rubles because I do need to get this done as quickly as possible. We got this here. What's this going to cost me? Yeah, we're going to build it. I know it's going to drain my money away, but I, to be honest, I think it's just going to have to be worth it. Hook that into there. Game's okay, gonna fund this lot with rubles. Mm. Do that again. Right, what we need now is someone to look after this. We've only got 39 employees. Okay. And We've got a little bit of cash. I'm just going to invite some immigrants into here as well. And the idea is that that will improve my culture. In theory, then, what it would mean is there should be more people up here who want to stay. We're down to 150,000 rubles, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. Let's go and check the train out. Oh, God, it looks like he's already on his way. Is he already over here? Oh, look. Oh, he's already done unloaded the first lot. Okay. Moving quite quickly. How's my economy now? So we've made not making that much money from this. Didn't get any wood. Why didn't you pick up any wood? Oh, is there no wood in here? I think what we will do is take the bricks off because I want to keep some of the bricks. So uh, let's just uncheck the bricks. Your job is to pick up wood and uh, prefabricated items. I know it's not big budget items, but what's up with the loads of wood wood in here? How are these doing? No one working here. That's a problem. Um, let me see. What we're going to do is get you in here. I think increasingly now that the people in this area, I need to focus on this area because I need them to drive my gravel production and the wood production now to make money. And again, the population's a little bit low. And there's no point in these people bussing down to here when. They'll just check here. So. Yeah, running the gravel works. We've got staff there. We've got staff in the cinema. One curiosity here is I don't. I've, I planted these trees around here. You can see the woods down here. So I'm not. I'm going to be curious to see whether they actually cut these trees down. In fact, I, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is 
Oops, nope. And what we're going to do is seed some more pines over here. I mean, it'd be really annoying if these trees can't be harvested. This train's picking up there. Oh, we got this is going to be worth 6,000 when it's finished loading. So that's going to go there. And I've learnt my lesson, so I'm not going to run the game at high speed. Wait, you need workers. We've got a bus. Where are you picking up workers from? Uh, because there's nobody here waiting now because they've got everything they need here. They've got a hospital, they've got a fire station. I think what we're going to do is we're going to source our workers from we're going to source our workers from down here, I think. Now we don't have that many people working in the train repair area and what I want is all these to focus very much on the I can explain it the construction work over here let's see how are you doing unfinished footpaths cinema and we need to build that cash up a little bit of course you can't get loans in this game <laughs> which would be a very nice thing um, yeah, this is running really nicely. Just check there. Um, another strange thing, I, I, I don't know if this is broken, but I've got a whole load of gravel in here which isn't being translated into this area. So, I mean, if I've got a dump truck around here that I can use. What I did do is a lot of spare vehicles. I've got some spares here. Let's just redo this again. And we can come to here. So we'll just remove that. And we'll remove that. Get another truck running on that. Yeah, so these are the spare trucks I picked up. If any of you guys watched the previous video, you're aware that I was exporting timber this way. And what I've done is I've uh, gathered all the trucks back up again. And a lot of the trucks I put into dealing with the food problems here was due to uh, were trucks that I actually recovered from that supply line. I think we've run out of or here, yep. So this is up to so what we're gonna do is switch this back on. And what you will see is this will drop down very, very quickly. And this is what I'm I've had to resort to and to, to ensure that my power supply get, keeps running because the problem is if my power station goes offline, everything goes offline because I've only got the one power station. So what I'm doing is using this as a as a way to fill this store up. So we'll let this get down to about a hundred tons, and then I'll switch it back off again. Yeah. Well, we might get to the full. No, nope. right. I'm just gonna switch that off again. What that will do is give me some coal to export this way. And I mean, the brick factory's got a problem, but I'm I'm not worried about the brick factory to be honest guys I just want this population to build back up again now on the hard difficulty managing the population is is quite strange actually because you see here these are really happy but because they're low on culture they're still leaving and this is something you need to be a little bit aware of guys how are we doing over here yeah, so we might. No, we didn't drop anyone off. I mean, I mean, do you have a crane? 
Oh, you've got a crane and a bulldozer. Come on, I've got this built. I mean, I could. Nah, I want to spend the money on that. If I'm going to spend any money, I'd spend it on this uh, uh, cinema here. Mm, how are we doing here? Yeah. So we've got the gravel and the asphalt there. No workers. Very short of workers at the moment. I think you're driving all the staff here. And yep, you're on the bus platform. And you're driving the rail. Though to be honest, that's not particularly that important. You're the people staff in the area. These two call here. Your job is to keep all this working really well. So that's working. Yep. One thing I was thinking, guys, is once this is built, we'll make this the bitumen tank. Then we'll run a pipeline up to here. So I don't really need this anymore. So we're just going to get rid of that. That would give me a little bit of space in that corner should I need it. What we got here? Well, that's worth 10,000. It's all full of wood and bricks. Where's all my trucks gone? It should be about. Where are, where are you? Where are you all? Uh, where are you going? I thought I got them all. Okay. I'm just gonna eat that. Okay, I thought I'd done all these. Okay, delete that. Yeah, you're going to get from the storage. I don't think you need bricks anymore. Oh, so I've only got them. I only had the two trucks working between these two buildings. I need more trucks than that. Let's see. Okay. Your job is to pick up here. I'll take that out. And then your job is to come down to here. You're going to pick up boards, click to loaded. I need to get more trucks. Okay. Take you. And up here. Uh, unload everything. Load. Just check. Make sure. Yep. I should get some more trucks working on this process. Actually, you can pop the bricks. Make sure you're unloading. Yep, unload. One of the problems you can get with this game is that it's. Uh, Yep, load everything. Yeah, we need to get some more stuff down to here. Get that wood exporting. Let's have a quick look. Cash wise. Yeah. Right, so we got the train running. We got everything running here. The cinema's being built. We got the staff on site. Got a little bit of steel. You're running. Get back over and check the food situation. I don't think there's much point in worrying too much about the 
crops will just have to, as things are growing, we'll just have to when you transport it. I mm. don't think I can get any more trucks running. I don't think I can get any better trucks than that either. I think the problem is, is I upgraded the tractors and the harvesters. Actually, what I could probably do is sell one of you and buy in a another truck. A nice big truck. 1.2 tons of truck. 6.4 3.2 that's 1.2 tons of trucks 8 tons of trucks okay we get a Kaz in as I say for the moment we're just get an extra truck running see so if we can pick up this food because we got So I think getting the crops in is far more important than actually to Yeah, my I think I'm exporting too many, so let me just have a quick look at this. Customs hall. Uh, go to depot. You you're getting too efficient. Probably find there's not enough people in here. And is, there, is there any way I can hook somebody from your 99? Probably if I hook you from there, you're going to 48. This is these are normally a good choice. Really need to try and improve. We've got 55. Because if I pull too many people away from these areas there, I mean, I'm, I think what we're going to do is shut, effectively shut the livestock farm down. It's, it's just a waste of effort, to be honest, at the moment. I think what we're going to do is try and get more people into the food factory yep. shut the slaughterhouse down should start to get more and more people into here when it'll take a little while again top tip here guys when you make changes don't expect them to be instantaneous especially when you're on slight, relatively slow speeds it takes time for things to take effect and probably the best thing to do would be eventually is to let the livestock build up in here and then switch that back on again. But what I really need to do at the moment is get the crops running here. Just want to check. Yeah, you've got loads of food. You're okay with food. You're getting food in real time. From here and just check up here make sure it's kindergarten yeah you've got a small stockpile of food so you've got a truck there and over here yeah you've got a truck with food there and what have you got here the shopping center you have a truck associated with you. Yep, that's good. So if we can keep all our food supplies up and running, that'd be really good. And if we can get this cinema built, what will happen is that this will then improve the standard. The population will increase here, and then we should be really starting to cook. Um, and then of course we can really start to drive this project here so we got an unfinished roads unfinished roads cinema and just get back up to here how's this going along it's not it might it will get there eventually i mean it's not important the main reason i built this here 
is to have a building here that will supply these utility buildings. That's the thought process, guys. I'm not sure what, what this guy, oh, this guy's delivering asphalt. Yeah, I mean, that's the thought process, but process behind that is one block of flats there will drive that. And then what will happen is this will keep this industry going and then this these will make sure that this keeps going because I would really love to start to increase the production and then up here this is getting a bit low and we've only got one person here how many people we got over here 116 right, I want you lot to move over to there That I know it's a short move, but this is the block that will drive the gravel plant here, and any surplus will still be able to work in the mine here. <laughs> and, and I think this is one of the key elements of this game, guys, is the micromanagement. You've really got to try and stay on top of it, and you don't get any overviews or menus. I mean, you, can, you have got like list of vehicles here, it's not really very good. You've got the economy, you can see we're, we're making money. I didn't keep spending it on other things, but you can see here, so the, the, I mean, the clothes is doing okay, prefabs is doing okay, boards not exactly a real money spinner, but, but we're making some stuff there. Coal's building up quite nicely. How, how's this? This is getting a bit low again, so I'm just going to. So, just let this build up a little bit more. Keep an eye on that. Drop it down to about 100 tons again. I know this is quite irritating, and it'd be really nice if there was a way that you could uh, control this. I mean, like say that you don't want the. F I mean, we could. Uh, this item. I mean, it'd be nice if you could like reduce the size of the capacity here I, mean, I think it's whoops I'm talking so better stop that because I've now reduced the capacity of my ha, goal things which means it's going to cost me money but this should pick up hopefully I wouldn't have yeah we're okay <laughs> yeah that was me talking guys this this is I do want the surplus here. I'd love to get back to the days when I, this was so full because this was full and everything was running really nicely. Just a quick check on this. Still running at 771 tons. So we're building up a little bit of food surplus again. I think what I'm going to do is let this build up so that we've got a nice big supply of food in there. That was the, yeah, that's the chemicals and everything's running quite well. So from that perspective, let's go over here and check the cinema. So this is building up quite nicely. I mean, 19,000, very tempted just to finish this off quick type because we've got Another four tons of steel to come in, which we're going to have to pay for anyway. So yeah, I think I'm just going to finish this off, man, uh, with money. I've got a bit of cash, guys. I'm just going to let this build up. Um, want some staff in here? Oh, wait, all visitors. We want some staff. Check the job list here. Right, we've now got someone there, so that should now improve the culture here. And we've got three roads which they've both done absolutely nothing with. Okay, so what roads are you building then? A footpath. 
road here. Is that it? Let's just get rid of these junk roads. Sometimes the game gets a bit hung up. Finish that footpath as well. And that means what I can do now is I'm going to assign you to that, that, to that. And we're going to very much now focus on one, getting the uh, oil refinery up and running and the other bits there. We've got this here, got the roller and things should be building up here and just have a quick check on our train. Yep, he's loading with prefabs and boards again. I mean, there's not much call for boards, so we can keep everything running very nicely there. Still not really pulling stuff out of here as fast as I would like it. And if I had the money, I would be tempted to get another truck. But I don't think we've got any more open trucks. An open truck here, but a quick check. On that uh, mechanisms, we got got three cars trucks here. Okay, you nope. Oh, I messed that up, haven't I? I can fix that because I can send him back to there. Gonna get another truck running down to here. And want you to load, not unload. Everything but boards wait until unloaded. And this is one of the problems you can have. Then that truck can keep driving this process here. And that we can keep everything running along really nicely and just to finish guys to show you the progress with the track train building has got an obsession down this line but eventually it will build down through here and connect and eventually it will build down to here and then we'll get some oil supplies there the other thing i'm thinking is maybe having a fuel tank here let's just put it in i think because we got an output there and what I'm thinking is having a well, maybe a fuel tank. So maybe we'll put a fuel tank here. And what that will be is we'll run then run that up to here so that we won't be paying for fuel. But this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode, hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>